IDI Amin Dada, known as the last King of Scotland, was one of the most controversial figures in African history. Today, we're uncovering five crazy facts about his rule that shocked the world. Fact 1. Olympic dreamer Amin fancied himself as an athlete. He claimed to be Uganda's national boxing champion from 1951 to 1960, although records to substantiate these claims are scarce. His fascination with sports led him to bizarrely propose that Uganda should host the Olympics, despite the country's lack of facilities and infrastructure. Fact 2. Title collector IDI Amin loved titles. He officially called himself His Excellency President for Life, Field Marshal Al Haji, Dr. IDI Amin Dada, VC, DSO, MC, Lord of all the beasts of the earth and fishes of the seas and conqueror of the British Empire in Africa in general and Uganda in particular. His penchant for grandiose titles knew no bounds. Fact 3. Cannibalism Rumors Rumors swirled that Amin practiced cannibalism, claims he sometimes seemed to encourage for their intimidation factor. While these rumors were never confirmed, his reign was undoubtedly marked by brutality and human rights abuses. Fact 4. Expulsion of Asians In 1972, Amin ordered the expulsion of Uganda's Asian community, giving them just 90 days to leave the country. This decision crippled the Ugandan economy and led to international condemnation. Fact 5. Self-proclaimed last king of Scotland Perhaps the most bizarre aspect of his rule was Amin's self-proclaimed title as the last king of Scotland. Fascinated by Scottish history, he formed a peculiar bond with the country, despite his brutal dictatorship leading to the deaths of an estimated 300,000 Ugandans. IDI Amin's rule was marked by eccentricities and horror, leaving a legacy that is both bizarre and tragic. These five crazy facts only scratch the surface of the complex and disturbing history of Uganda under the last King of Scotland. Understanding the extremes of IDI Amin's rule reminds us of the importance of vigilance and the defense of human rights in the face of tyranny. Thank you for watching Quick Historic Bites.